Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Jim Moya here. Sorry, the speed is a little shaky. I'm using my phone right now. But <clears throat> this right here is my uh, this is the old uh, iPod. So uh, with the app that I have on it, it's called Dash Command. I currently have it connected to my car through where is it? Through this thing right here. This is the OBD2 scanner. It's a Wi-Fi scanner. Uh, Plug into the OBD port, the OBD2 port, you connect to it through Wi-Fi, which I'm, I've done here, connected through it to Wi-Fi. And pretty much, the car's off right now. I pretty much, let's see here. <sighs> loading, loading, loading. And waiting, and waiting. iPod's a little slow. There we go. Pretty much, it detects... Uh, all the vehicle specs and all the monitoring systems and everything. Go ahead and turn on the car. Car has been sitting in the on position for a while. That's why it took a little bit to start up. I guess it lost a little uh, fuel pressure there. It's been in the on position for so long. But yeah, you can see there is it, it's uh, reading the timing, the RPMs, the vacuum pressure. That'll be the fuel economy. All right, and let's see. Move on to the other screens. Uh, go to the engine one. You get more details there. You got the timing. Then you got the fuel trims. You got the coolant. You got the engine load. That's the coolant. You got the map sensor. This is what my car has. Math, my car doesn't have a math sensor, but for some reason I guess it's based off of this one here, so I don't know how. But, uh, yep, don't have that, don't have that sensor. But I do have this sensor, the O2 sensor. You can see the, that is the, uh, the upstream O2 sensor. It's reading whether it's running rich or lean. This is all live data. Down here, fuel pressure, I don't have a sensor for that. My vehicle does not have ambient temperature, but does have intake and coolant temperature. Click over here, it goes back to the timing. And if you click on the fuel tank over here, it just tells you uh, the uh, miles per gallon. I have not used this app in a while, so all this is old data. There goes that. Currently, my fuel flow is uh, 0 0.4 uh, gallons per hour. You know, fuel level, gallons, uh, percent, range. I guess I haven't used this app in a while, so all this stuff needs to recalibrate. And if you go to the steering wheel over here, it tells you all the technical data. Yep. Oops. And there you go. That. Hold on, let me close that out. Yeah, so if you click on the gas, or not the, that right there, and you swipe to the side. I'm going to go to the other one, swipe the side again, goes to the shift knob, it tells you here the uh, when to shift, and it goes has all five gears, so what you have to do there, you have to enter all the uh, the gear ratios, and then it does that automatically. What's that? You got this here, if you click on that, it should go to something else. Uh, never mind. Guess not. Hmm. How did I get it? Make it go to that menu again. I forgot. Oh, I guess. Let me go here to the uh, fuel pump here. Did I click it? Guess not. Uh, it's not working. But anyways, this is another feature that uh, allows you to input how much gas was in the last fill up and whatnot, blah 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 and then adjust the uh, the live data for the miles per gallon according to that and the fuel level and all that stuff but here's that dash command uh, I bought this scanner here off of eBay and yeah dash command was like $9.99 as in, at the app store and there goes that pretty cool stuff
Yeah, the response time is a little delayed because this iPod is pretty old and it's kind of slow. But if I do it on my phone, which I'm using to record right now, is the iPhone 4S, it is a little faster. Uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll make this video too long, and I guess I'm closing it right here.